Hey, good afternoon. This is your News For Now update. I'm Kay Ingram, and we're following two breaking stories right now. Let's start in Brooklyn. That's where crews are working on a large fire in Kensington. You can see here from the Citizen App video, large flames shooting from the windows of one apartment on 8th Street. And you can see heavy smoke coming from the others. The fire is so big, it's impacting at least three floors. We're told at least one firefighter was hurt with minor injuries. Now, right now, firefighters are putting out hot spots, and it's still not clear how all this started. And we're watching more breaking news, this time out of Rockland County. That's where an injured hiker had to be rescued after falling in a rocky area. We're told that person might have been there for quite a long time. News 4's Romney Smith is in Nyack with the latest. The rescue started this morning after a park ranger heard the hiker screaming for help. When he realized he couldn't make the rescue on his own, that's when he called for backup. Multiple agencies, including police, fire, EMS, and the high angle rescue team, all came to help the hiker. They located him with a drone on the side of a cliff in Nyack Beach State Park. Unfortunately, that man was forced to spend the night in near freezing temperatures, and it took about two dozen people, and especially the volunteer high angle rescue team, to use their Carabiners rappelled down and get him. They put him into a rescue basket. From that point, he was taken into a gurney and then into the ambulance where he was taken to the hospital. Officials say he was about 300 feet off the trail. And when they asked the man what happened, he simply says he slipped off the trail, tumbled down the mountain a little, and was unable to get up. Now, this situation has a happy ending. He will be okay. Minor injuries, but they say if anyone's out here hiking, don't do it alone. And if you do, stick to the trails. In Nyack, New York, Romney Smith, News 4 New York. All right, Romney, thanks for the latest there. Now, the NYPD has released this new video showing a group of men robbing a 49-year-old store employee in East New York. It happened back on October 14th at a shop on Ashford Street, but the department is just putting out the video now. Police say the men pushed the employee to the ground, then took $600, marijuana, and vapes. That employee is doing okay, but they still want to find these guys. And this is new video out of Queens. Police say Monday morning, a driver parked his Nissan Rogue in the parking lot of this Woodside store. He left it running with a man sleeping in the back seat. That's when two other men got in the vehicle and drove off, not realizing they had company. Now, once they did, police say they forced him out of the back of the car at gunpoint. He's doing okay, but officers are looking for the men and the SUV. The man accused of shooting people on a subway train in Brooklyn wants his upcoming trial held in Chicago. Frank James' attorney claims he won't be able to get a fair trial here. James is accused of shooting 10 people and setting off smoke bombs on a Manhattan-bound end train last April. Now, he's pleaded not guilty to charges that include committing a terrorist act on mass transit. His trial is scheduled to start in February. Hundreds of sailors, Marines, and Coast Guard personnel just sailed into the New York Harbor to celebrate Veterans Day. The amphibious assault ship USS Arlington and U.S. Coast Guard cutter Lawrence Lawson arrived this morning. More than 600 servicemen and women from those ships will take part in events across the city to honor the service and sacrifice of the nation's veterans, including the annual New York City Veterans Day Parade, happening this Friday. Time to take a look at your afternoon weather. A beautiful day as we uh, take a gander at Lake Success. Uh, we can see some leaves still changing color, but I think by the time we get to this weekend with the high winds and rain, many of those leaves are going to be off the trees and colder weather follows. Right now we're at 51 degrees. Nice temperatures and uh, sky conditions uh, combined today. Uh, we're going to see a beautiful afternoon. Very different story as we watch the tropics. Tropical Storm Nicole could become a hurricane and impact the flood. Florida coastline as early as late tonight with its eye making landfall just on the verge of a hurricane right now moving uh, to the west at 12 miles per hour. You can see hurricane warnings posted and we have tropical storm warnings posted for uh, the west coast of Florida and areas from uh, North Florida through South Carolina. This storm works its way inland eventually coming up in our direction. One to two inches of rain widespread including the five boroughs. Little less than that as we head out to the island and down the a little more than that as we head to the far north and west. As we take a look at our 10 day forecast, very soggy Friday into Saturday, windy as well. Clouds for Sunday and maybe peaks of sunshine, much cooler temperatures as we head into next week and they will be sustained. Back to you, Kay. Awesome. Thanks, Dave. Well, you heard it. It sounds like if you want to check out that fall foliage, you better get on it. 